Welcome back, folks. This is a great equation to try on your own. Calculate the area of this parallelogram and calculate the size of AD. Hit the pause button to try it on your own and then we'll do it together. I hope you tried it on your own. Uh, now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this parallelogram and find the size of AD. Here in a parallelogram, a uh, few properties that you have to note. Uh, there's four sides and the opposite sides are equal in length and run parallel to each other. So those two sides on the top are parallel and those two sides are parallel. And uh, the opposite angles are equal to each other. So those two angles are equal and those two angles are equal. Uh, and there'll always be two angles that are uh, wider than 90 degrees and two angles that are uh, narrower than 90 degrees. In this parallelogram, we have points A, B, C, and D. Uh, they give us the height, which is 12. The height is uh, any point on the baseline uh, going straight up to the uh, top line. So that's 12. And uh, they also give us A to C, that segment there is 15. Now, if you look at the uh, points A to C and the height, we have a right triangle. Uh, once you see a right triangle, uh, especially when you see two legs, right? You see the hypotenuse and you see the leg on the right, uh, then you can calculate that leg all the way on the bottom uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's call that point on the bottom E, like Edward, and uh, so we have the hypotenuse of 15, we have the height of 12, and then we have AE uh, is the leg of the triangle that we can calculate. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, using the Pythagorean theorem, we have 12 squared plus AE squared equals 15 squared. Uh, now, now just for the heck of it, I, I notice this is gonna be a nine, 12, 15 triangle. Uh, th there's a triangle like uh, in, in Pythagorean theorem, there's the three, four, five triangle. When two legs are three and four, the perfect integers, and the hypotenuse will be five. And from that, you could also have a triangle that's six, eight, and 10, uh, and nine, 12, and 15, and it just goes on forever. You have 12, 16, 20. Uh, so here, uh, that AE is gonna calculate uh, to nine, but let's do it the, the long way. Uh, we have 12 squared, which is 144, uh, plus AE squared, and plus 15 squared, which is 225. Uh, and then we subtract 144 from each side. We will get uh, AE squared equals 81. Uh, and the square root of 81 is nine. So the length of AE is nine. Now, uh, that's gonna help us. Uh, let's see, they also give us BD. Uh, from B to D is 13. And if you look here, uh, it's gonna bring up another right triangle. Um, it's, a good time here to, to, to explain one property of a parallelogram is uh, you're, you're gonna have two right triangles that are the exact same size and dimensions and angles. Uh, so you have a right triangle that's here and you have a right triangle that's here. Those are 100% identical. Uh, so um, what it is is, you know, the, that length there is gonna be 12. It's the height the same way as the other one. Um, and just for the heck of it, that little tiny corner there and the one over there, those are also gonna be equal to each other. Is that redundant, equal to each other? Could be. So anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we have here, um, on this one, we have one leg that's 12, we have the hypotenuse that's 13, and we can calculate this little uh, you know, segment here of A and E. Um, now I can see, we'll call it B, that little portion there, we'll call it B like boy. Uh, I could see this, this is a, a triangle, it's gonna be a right triangle of a five, 12, and 13. Uh, those are also you know, perfect integers like the other one. A five, 12, 13 triangle would be the, the legs are five and 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. So I bet you B is gonna work out to five, uh, but let's do it the, the Pythagorean theorem way. Uh, tw 12 squared is 144 plus B squared equals 169. Let's go ahead and Calculate that guy. So then subtract 144, we get B squared equals 25 and B equals five. So that, that portion there is five. Now, if you look closely, this whole line from A to E is nine, and that part of A and E is five. And those two corners are equal 
right there because of that property of those, those two triangles that are equal. So let's call those two corners x and x. We would get x plus the middle, which is 5, plus x equals 9. So x plus 5 plus x equals 9. That works out to 2x plus 5 equals 9. And then we get 2x, we subtract 5 from each side, 2x equals 4, x equals 2. So those two corners there are 2 and 2. Now, uh, we should be able to calculate AD, right? Because we have a 2 there and a 5, so 2 plus 5 is 7. So that is the length of A and D is uh, 7. Uh, it's not actually A and D, it's just AD. Line segment AD is 7, and that is the base of the parallelogram. Uh, the next thing we wanted to calculate was the area of the parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Uh, that's the formula to figure out the area of a parallelogram. So now remember, it's the height, not the, the side that goes up, because uh, that's not the height. The height is from the baseline uh, 90 degrees up to the uh, top side, okay? So the base we calculated is 7. The height they gave it to us is 12, so we simple, simply multiply 7 times 12 to get the area of the parallelogram. 7 times 12 is 84. That is the area of the parallelogram. Now, here's a bonus one for you folks, good folks out there. See if you can calculate C and D. Uh, C to D, uh, a little hint. You have those, uh, you have a right triangle there, but you have those legs of 12 and 2, so you should be able to calculate that side CD. Uh, leave that answer in the comments uh, and please if you have other equations you want me to take a look at send them to me this was a fun one to do uh, there's a on the GMAT the SAT the GRE these are always asked questions like this uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of these and good luck keep practicing